morning. Mark wants to know about bin monsters and stick people. Well, bin monsters eat rubbish. So you have to feed them all the time or they get moody and hungry and then they'll eat your hands. So you have to put things in them. We had them at school. So we met some yesterday, bin monsters in the park, because it's met them throwing rubbish on the floor. And then we went to pick up a new school that we're going to start soon because then it's nice to know where we're going. We already feel like we know the place already. And looked at two fences and found it was really cool because there was a playground at my new school. I know, it's a really nice one too, look. And guess what's that over there? Can you see them? A red and a blue one. Bin monsters, like we just saw at the park. So we know already to what we just saw, what we throw rubbish in the bin, not on the floor. And also, you get stickers if you make good choices at school. And do sharing and passing around things. And have fruit at playtime. And what else? I can't think. I don't really know. I can't remember. But we used to have a jug. And the entire person could pour out the drinks for the other people. So it's good to practice things like that and drinking out of cups. Because when we go to school, they have cups and tipping jug things. Or well, they used to when I was a helper. And... Uh, I don't think I said stick, really. I just use new words. Just use new words. And it was funny to me, I said to my son, when we did the tea party. I think I might have said this already. But she said... Uh, who came to the tea party, it was Mummy and Turtle, because she was playing a pretend game, which is nice too. We have a pretend place at school to play pretend games, and the teachers know about it as well. And they know not everything's true in there. And sometimes they play that game themselves to get secrets and get you to do things in a secret coded way. So. It's good to do it too and jump around the street shouting out. We're counting really loud so you're confident when they say, right, you can stand up front today and be the talking person. It's like, I don't really want to do this though because it's scary. Well, I don't know. Let's just play with shouting around the street like this, being loud, loud cats, screaming tigers. And then you can be controller too. I said we were out looking for trouble. Turtle said have Turtle said be good when we left. And we said no. We were off looking for trouble. And then ran off down the road. We found some. But it was not bad. We were a tiger that came to tea. And we had a tea party. With brass crystal jugs with stars in the bottom and everything. And took them back to the forwards. And we talked about the sunflowers that didn't grow in there because we planted sunflowers before when I went over. I said, do you remember those sunflowers? And she said, yeah. They didn't grow. And I said, well, look, that's why the fairies bought them here and planted them in my garden. And now we were going to take some home to Mum, but we forgot. But there they are. They're here anyway. We did plant them and they did grow. And I was also thinking about the Five of Cups again. Because I had, and it's just one of those five faces of tarot or whatever, seven faces, seven windows. The Five of Cups. Because I had five broad bean plants here. And look, there's only two have grown. The other three have died. And then I was thinking about my grandchildren because there's three of those and they've all gone away. And now I've got two new ones. So it's the same thing again. I've got two, haven't I, to play with two cups. And I was also thinking about the six of cups. Again, the fairy story with the white flower in it, which was a wormy rose, often the white rose, the wormy one. And the ogre's giving the white rose to the little old lady. I call it the fairy tale card, and it can mean different things, can't it? I was just thinking about that, which has been given a white rose by this old ogre. It could be anything, but it's just like... Have this, do what you want with it. A little tinkly tail. It's neither here nor there. It's a white lie, isn't it? It's a white lie. It could be anything. Five faces of tarot. It's how you read it. 
It's a flower for the old lady up the road. She could be anyone. She could be the old, you know who. Aunt Violet. What other form she's taken. Or, you know. Some balance thing. It's the balance thing. It's like my, what's her name? Barbie Yaga. You meet her. She meets you how you meet her. She can be the best thing in the world or the ugliest old hag in, in all of creation. It depends on what you what you're getting with. <laughs> how you approach her. <laughs> it's Barbie Yaga card. I think so. That's what it is now anyway. Look who it is. She's got fleas in her chest today, they've moved around. I'll tell you why that is. Probably because I've not been treating her chest as much. She wasn't scratching all night though, because you know why? I covered her in uh, petrol yesterday to kill some of them old tiger mites. Whatever they are, the spider ones, the thread ones. So that was good, apart from the fact she was sleeping on my bed. So that's why I woke up looking at the can of Pledge, thinking maybe I should get that and start spraying it around. Hello, how do you feel about the world today? She says, I hate you bringing new people home. I'm as jealous, free of swords as anyone. It's the Taurus in me. I'm a free of swords carrier. Oh, she's got spots in her ears now. What have you got next? Christ's sake. It was good though because she was being the helper in class. She had to be the blanket lady lying in the door of the kitchen. And then the other child that I had to look after in my class had to sit on the square. So she was learning about sitting in one place, which is another useful trick when you go to school because they do expect you to sit down sometimes. Occasionally, when it's your turn to listen, which is usually all the time. But, um, So we were practicing that. And Spider-Man, who's upstairs, I don't know if you remember, when I was at hers last time I was babysitting, she decided to rip up a book just for fun, no other reason. And uh, fortunately, just at that moment, my son came to the door because he needed to pick up the key, and I said, it's Spider-Man. And he worked at the school, and he'd be furious about the book, and she immediately burst into tears and stopped doing it, and now she's terrified of him, which is quite useful to have that stick to hit people with. Because, well, I didn't actually, but you know what? I said, well, you know, he works at a school and you, if you start doing that at school, they don't like it. If you start ripping up all the books, there we go. Then I said, she now just calls him Spider-Man. And uh, there we go. He worked around it. And they made friends yesterday, sort of. I said he's scared of people too, because he's a book leader. We're just practicing for school. You remember what it was like going to school, bloody. Hard work, that's all. And we met people. She doesn't like people. I don't like people. I don't want to go to school. I don't like people. Well, no one does. You have to get used to them. But we met loads of fairy people. They just maybe don't like muggle people. But you know what? Who does? Work out who's who when we get there. Or afterwards. When we get home. Maybe everyone's just having a turn at being a muggle. Look, Tony's eating the blackberries. She had more blackberries than the child yesterday. She was being fed them, which was pretty nice for her. She's on a black and white police mat again. The in charge person. That's why she's sitting high up, looking down on us. With her two pink nails, look, can you see? Seven C. It's funny. Funny to ask anyway. Look, I've got a black wreath for being good.
We have loads of things to talk about when we go to school anyway. Really interesting things that no one else understands. Should be nice for the teachers uh, to learn something new from us. I don't know what they. We seem to be going along. Oh, about making blackberry jam or something. Or, I don't know. The flower people or the elves at the bottom of Nanny's garden who pushed her in the pond. Could be anything. That's why we don't go down that end, because the elves will push me in. Look. Well, which nanny was it? I don't know. Dog nanny. The fairy one. Who knows? Mummy. Mummy did it. Are you sure? Mummy says it wasn't her. <laughs> well, we always have this problem with the white flowers. That's true. <laughs> Never know what, what mate they are. <laughs> See, look, the dog's an idiot as well. She's a violent, she's a violent creative. Let's get the tarot and see what she's saying. She's saying no, thank you. Pledge though, I need to get some more pledge. Right in the air. Dolly, come here. There we go, now you've wound up the other dogs. You can sit on the circle, Matt. You can sit on the circle because you're a wiggling one. You're a wiggling squirmer. So, we're just practicing now, so it's like, you know what, we know this guy. You don't want to be on a naughty cloud every day, do you? Every time you go in and pick your child up off the naughty chair, like I had to. He's on the cloud again. Is he really? How about that for a thing? He's still on the cloud now. Oi! Branston Pickle, get back here. I'll be after you with this stick. See, she knows. She knows what I'm all about now. Good girl. She loves being threatened with a stick, don't you? You know why? She's not scared of sticks, she chews them up. It's like chewing gum, isn't it? Being threatened with an old stick. She thought I was going to throw it for her. Insurance policy. Dogs. Just a little shower, isn't it, Polly? What am I going to bath with today? She's looking all right for a manty old dog, isn't she? With a flea allergy and all the rest of it. I think I'm pretty proud of myself as usual. We're drilling it in. We're drilling it into her. She's molting. She's having a molt, a seasonal molt. What did I put in my camphoil? I just made... Oh, the fleas. The fleas are crawling off her. They can't stand it. I'll get the comb out of it. It was all it was. is um, Vaseline. I made like a pan, pan maria, whatever it's called. A tin can in a pan of hot water. And... Um, Put a bit of Vaseline in and a bit of Brasso. I melted the Vaseline first, like you would. Fucking idiot. Um, when you make candles, just melt the Vaseline and then put a bit of Brasso in it. Uh, probably, I don't know, maybe a third Brasso to Vaseline or a quarter even, not that much. Um, like a capful in a spoonful of Vaseline. Um, I don't want to make it too strong, so it is a bit of a a balancing act. Less is more, isn't it? They always say. Um, I'd say even half a cap, two thirds of a cap to a, a large dessert spoon of Vaseline. Just see how it goes. And then rubbed it on those campers wicks or whatever they're called. Dip the wicks in it and then you can stick them under the mattress and things like that. I did tie around one around the dog yesterday for the day and then took it off at night because how strong it is but I squeezed it out so it was just uh, 
I think it's just anything because they it's petroleum. They used to have camphor. Oh, they used to have camphor lamps in the greenhouses, didn't they? I can't remember. But people just use words for anything, don't they? Some people do. Anyway. Come on, fuck! Well, we just called it this. Um, I was going to use the furniture polish that I had, that wood balsam, but I couldn't find it, so I did it with glass on it. Because it had a red bug lid on it, red bug and blue. Um, petrol, diesel, isn't it? Red cap. A bit old red cap on it. What's the yellow one? I can't remember. There's a different thing. Right? Spare it with that, a bit of this, a bit of that. That'll get it moving. Um, 